you know and sometimes people will think well i heard this song i don't know why i feel like influenced uh to be suicidal you know or 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 they watch a movie and they feel a certain way and they're like something feels really off like you feel really disturbed and you feel like kind of like messed up you're like what the heck did i just watch when you feel that that could be an indication that there's a there's a door that was opened at some point when you were watching what you weren't supposed to watch it could be like a gory movie or it could be like a uh just things of the world you know um not everything that we see just, just because it doesn't have like like open satanism like a horror movie doesn't mean it's safe to watch you know uh same thing with music you know there are some chants that that uh are in music that are actually inspired by by witches and you can you can look it up you will find the same thing you know other people on youtube talk about it you know but also you know there can be like there's there's a lot of open doors nowadays to where you think you're like oh how can you know be demonized by listening to music you know it's it's a mystery it's a mystery you know Satan had a lot to do with music in heaven so of course he's gonna find a way to mess it up for everybody else you know here on the earth but that's the way it is that's the way it is you know there's forgiveness that's the whole point of the cross there's forgiveness for for every sin but not everything is beneficial you know god says well if you listen to me secular music i'll forgive you I'll forgive you. No, we shouldn't indulge in that stuff. You know, I, I won't. I won't ever tell you. Go ahead and listen to it. I won't ever tell you that. I don't do it myself, so I don't. I don't see why I would push it on somebody else. It doesn't make sense. Now you repent. God is faithful to forgive you. I'm be real with you. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna beat you into submission. <laughs> you know, you're free to do what you want. But you know, the Holy Spirit will convict you. <laughs> the Holy Spirit will convict you to turn away from things that you shouldn't be doing and indulging in. Um, because it's not beneficial for you. You know, you listen to certain songs. I used to listen to this rock band uh, like a few years back, and I would get a lot of anxiety. And I'd be like, God, where did that come from? <laughs> like, what? And I would, I would feel really depressed. And I'm like, but it's it's good music, and it's it's not like like soft hardcore. Like it was it wasn't like like um, like depressing music. In fact, it was very amped up. But there is just something in the music that just, I don't know, opened the door to the demonic in some way, shape, or form. And I kid you not, ever since I stopped listening to that that rock band, um, I haven't felt that way. I haven't felt that way to, to that extent, you know. Um, so, and I, I fell from God and let it go. And to repent from it, you know, he's faithful to forgive me. But also it was for my own benefit. Because he's like, it's, it's doing this to you. Whenever you listen to this or whenever you watch this, notice the effect it has on you. Sorry. Notice the effect that it has on you when you listen to that type of stuff. Notice the effect it has on you when you listen to that type of stuff. It's not beneficial. And I, I strongly believe that there's a lot of music out there, you know, mainstream music um, can be like, Post Malone or, or stuff like that. Like there's there's junk in there, you know. Believe it or not, I used to listen to that stuff. I don't anymore. But not everything is is beneficial to you, you know, because you don't know all the supernatural stuff that that is uh, embedded in that stuff. You know, you don't understand the supernatural. I don't understand it 100. percent But what I do know is what God has let me know, and that's what I'm sharing unto you. You know, it's 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 not good for you. It's gonna um. It will influence you in some way, shape, or form that it's not, not good at all. Uh, it's very scary. And this is nothing new under the sun. You know, I've spoken about this over again. Like, you want to go ahead and watch the other video that I spoke about right here. I'll clean the link up here. Um, it's called the battle of the mind. You know, where Satan attacks your mind. Literally, you know. Satan will send these demons to give you warfare. But guess what? In the midst of all that, Jesus is a hero. And he's the only one that can save you from that. He's your friend, and he'll be with you the entire time. All of this for his own glory, whether we understand it or not, whether we agree with it or not, it's for him to be glorified. You know, and not a lot of people receive it, and I even feel like right now, as I'm telling you this, you're kind of saying, well, how, why, how dare Jesus, how dare he do that? Hey, <laughs> we're the clay, he's the potter. No matter how we feel, he's the one that has the ultimate say, and that's the way it is. You know, we'll deal with it.
Deal with it. That's just the reality of it. He wants to be your hero. Whether you, de whether you decide to take it the right way or the wrong way is up to you. He's doing it for your benefit because you're so indulged in sin. But because you're so indulged in sin, you're viewing him as a bad guy. He's not the bad guy. He's your hero. He's there for you. He's trying to be. He's trying to save you. Whether you want to be saved or not, that's that's your issue. And he's not going to force you to be saved. He's like, I loved you so much to give the opportunity. And I died for you. Knowing that you might reject me. He rose again. Of course, he has power over death. Death is nothing on death has nothing on him. But we have to stop seeing Jesus as this hostile person. You know, you're like you blame God, you shake your fist at God, like, hi hey God, how dare you? You know. Now a lot of things are 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 demonic attacks. I'll tell you that. A lot of things are, are a result of like satanic attacks on your life and whenever we live in a broken world. We live in a broken world and even the Bible says that the the devil is a lowercase G, God of this world. So because the devil is a lowercase G, God of this world, we're gonna, we're gonna be faced with battles. We're gonna, we're gonna fight. <clears throat> but that's the reality of things, man. You know, accept it, don't accept it, that's up to you. You know, I'm giving you a key. You know, I'm giving you uh, just insight on that. You know, hopefully you can receive it. But the Bible also says that this people that are not spiritual cannot receive spiritual things. So if you decline it, if you, if you reject the message that is spiritual, you might very well be a carnal person. I'm talking to a believer here. But to unbelievers, your attacks might be signs of demonic attack. See Jesus and you'll find him. He wants to be found by you. Look for him. He'll take you out of whatever mess is going on up here. Or even if he doesn't take you out, he's still with you. Seek him out. He'll comfort you in the midst of all your troubles. Now, can he take it away? 100%. God can deliver you if it's demonic, but if it's not demonic, if it's a sickness or like if it's like a malfunction up here that's not caused by demonic entities, and it's just something that happened out of nature, out of, you know, the brokenness of the world, he's with you. And you're very precious to him. You're adorable to him. He values you very much. Just so you are right now. He wants you to welcome him into your life. He wants to be a part of your life. And he might offend you and tell you, hey, turn away from your wicked ways. Because us humans are wicked. That's our nature. That's the human nature. The human nature is wicked by default. By default, of course it's going to offend you. But if you're desperate, you're going to look past the offense. And you're going to say, Jesus, whatever you say, I'll do. But even then, the first step is, is repentance. That's the first step. That's how you get started. That's the, that's the very first step. When you repent and turn to God, that's the very first step. Everything else follows. Your deliverance follows. Your salvation. I'm not guaranteeing you a deliverance. Because it, it just depends on what, he, on what he wants to do. I'm, I'm going to be real with you. There are some things that God will not take away. Not because he's bad, but because there's a reason why he does those things. And it's all for his glory. He's sovereign. He knows why. Maybe it might cost you your soul. Maybe as soon as he takes it away, you might leave him and end up going to hell. I'll be real with you. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to sugarcoat you. you know, I'm here to encourage you also and, and let you know that he's with you. But we have to remain in Him also. We have to do our part and stay with Him. Stay with Him. And when you love the Lord, that's not a chore. It might look like a chore to somebody that doesn't love God. You'll be like, oh, I have to pray, I have to do this and that. You don't have to. You don't have to. It's up to you. He wants a relationship with you, but if it's not there, you're not going to want to do those things. But He has a way of making you fall in love with Him. It does. He does. And it's very beautiful, really. It changed my life, so he'll change yours, I guarantee you. And read the Bible for yourself. Read Psalms. But don't just dabble there and be like, you know what? I feel Christian today. I'll be Christian today. And then tomorrow you completely forget. No, that's not the real walk, my friend. 
Ask God to give you a love for Him. In fact, I even pray that you receive the love for God. Right now, I don't have to lay hands on you. I don't have to be face to face with you in person. Right here and then, Heavenly Father, I pray that the person receiving this, that they, that they, that there be a, a longing for you in their hearts. In Jesus' name. Now, if you're living in sin, repent. Repent. Because that very sin can very well be the reason why you're going through that stuff. And I'm laughing because it's just ridiculous. I'm like, you're getting sick because you're eating vomit off the floor. Of course you're going to get sick. Now, once you stop eating vomit off the floor, you'll get better. But it's all with Him. It's all with Jesus. It's all with Jesus. Without Jesus, it's impossible to let go of sin. Without Jesus, you're a slave to sin. And you're going to keep indulging and you're going to keep sinning and you're going to keep struggling with all these open doors and all these satanic, you know, uh, doorways that you're being tormented by. Alright, I'm calling it here.